Okay, excellent. First of all, aloha from Hawaii. I wish I could be there with you. The sun is about to rise here, and um, it's been a wonderful program so far, so mahalo for the opportunity. The picture in this first slide is the summit of Mount Akea. It's the centerpiece of the Hawaiian ar archipelago, a 14,000-foot um, uh, mountaintop uh, Darman volcano that uh, receives large amounts of snow every year. If you're wondering, Mount Akea means uh, White Mountain. And through this brief presentation, I'll share with you some perspectives of how we here in Hawaii are melding indigenous and contemporary science through through the field of astronomy. So the picture on the right is a photograph uh, without the snow of the summit of Mount Akea. And what you're looking at there is the most scientifically productive collection of telescopes uh, ever built, actually. And, and what allows that to be possible are the unique aspects of the summit of Mount Akea uh, as a, a um, point on the surface of the Earth that allows remarkable observations of the universe. That's only part of the story, though. Uh, as the highest peak in, in all of Polynesia, uh, Mount Akea has enormous cultural uh, um, value to the native Hawaiian uh, population here, the our indig indigenous population, and across Polynesia. Um, so the long story short, with the resurgence of native Hawaiian culture uh, in the latter half of the 20th century, including hula, dance, uh, the resurgence of the native Hawaiian language, etc., uh, that came into conflict with development on the summit of Mauna Kea. And as you can imagine, that has led to a variety of activism and protests and tension in the community. Uh, I have lived over half of my life, about 40 years in Hawaii. Uh, my wife is born and raised here, and we, we've raised our three children here on Hawaii Island. So this is a very personal matter for all of us here in Hawaii. And as I say there um, in the lower left, it's it, from my perspective, balancing cultural environment is interest in, in the summit of Mount K is crucial. So fundamentally, um, the future of Hawaii astronomy, uh, which is actually uh, very much at risk, is on ultimately in the hands of And uh, we need to seek solutions to find a path forward. So I'm getting a lot of feedback through the audio system. Um, First, the, the first example of our collaboration is through the Kumalipo. That is an absolutely beautiful 2,000-line uh, chant uh, that has been passed on for many, many generations in Hawaii that captures the story of the creation of everything, uh, literally from uh, uh, the dark, vast space itself, um, and carries on through the evolution of life uh, and eventually the emergence of humans. Uh, on the left-hand side, you see the first uh, 14 lines of the Kumalipo in Hawaiian. On the right are the, is the English translation. And Dr. Larry Kimura and I have had a wonderful time co-exploring the Kumalipo. Uh, I thought I'd share with you what it sounds like uh, in Hawaiian. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful chant. <laughs> Hopefully you're able to hear that okay. Uh, so Dr. Kimura and I have had a wonderful time co-exploring that through a, a, a program called The Physics of Po. Uh, it's an opportunity for me as an astronomer and for Larry as a native Hawaiian uh, cultural practitioner and an expert in Hawaiian language to co-explore uh, the, the deeper meanings of this 2,000-line chant. Uh, we've gotten a wonderful feedback from the broader community about um, uh, how that uh, chant has been uh, developed over many, many generations. Over 2,000 people have uh, heard that chant thus far, um, and uh, we've had a tremendous interest uh, from the broader community in, in uh, learning about it through the efforts of Larry and I. I can see my video is not uh, playing. Um, that could actually be a problem for the rest of the presentation. Um, let me see if it, it, um, it, uh, the next video plays or not for you. Um, the next uh, example of our collaboration is uh, through the, the um, Mauna Kea Scholar Program, which is an, an opportunity for local high school students uh, to 
participates in the Mauna Kea observatories and those on Haleakau and Maui as well through the, the um, uh, opportunity for those students to conduct their own research uh, on Mauna Kea uh, and on Haleakau to conduct um, uh, research projects that they develop themselves. And hang on just a second. I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to stop share for just a second because these are not playing properly. I'll be right with you in just a second. First for the successful Mauna Kea Scholars Program in 2018, three students from Moloka'i High School were awarded observing time with the Mauna Kea Telescopes, the most advanced telescopes in the world. It's exciting, especially coming from Molokai. Yeah, we don't get that much opportunities like that over here because we're so small. I've never been to Mauna Kea or the Big Island, and I'm pretty excited for that because I've never did, done anything like this before. It's a great experience for me. The Mauna Kea Scholars Program, the first of its kind internationally, brings Hawaii's high school students into one of the world's most advanced research communities. But it's really important that these students get opportunities that allow them to be successful and start to really dream big about what they're capable of doing. The students start by spending months working with mentors from UH to prepare professional research proposals. We chose um, Omega Centauri to study and we wanted to study like where in its lifespan it was like right now. The proposals are reviewed by astronomers and the ones considered the most scientifically promising are awarded telescope time, just like real life astronomers. Good job. As of spring 2018, hundreds of local high school students from 10 public schools have participated in the Mauna Kea Scholars Program, which started I stopped the video there for the interest of time, but it's unique worldwide and the opportunity for our local high school students, particularly in rural areas, to use a billion dollar research complex like this has been transformative and absolutely incredible in terms of their impact on their self image and their ability to engage in STEM and other um, areas of, of research through their, their young careers. And then the final example I have you, for you um, is a really wonderful, wonderful program that's about six or seven years um, uh, old at this point. It's the Ahuaheanoa program. Uh, Ahuaheanoa means calling forth a name. And in Hawaiian culture, the process of naming is um, uh, highly structured. There's a, a real protocol behind it. It's somewhat inverted from Western uh, approaches for naming, in which a person will assign a name to an object or, or an individual. In Hawaiian culture, the name emerges forward from the object itself, and you listen for it. Sort of long story short, in 2017, Hawaiian Kapuna, a Hawaiian Kapuna, an elder named John DeFries, approached me about creating what he was calling the Hawaiian Celestial Nomenclature Program, basically assigning Hawaiian names to great discoveries made with Hawaii-based telescopes. <clears throat> and that led to an incredible collaboration between the Hawaii Island community, Kahakaula, which is the College of Hawaiian Language Studies here on the UH Hilo campus, uh, and the Hawaii astronomy community. And since then, we've come a really long way in developing Ahuaheanoa. Now, the best way to capture it was with this final video clip uh, that um, shows the, the level of, um, of engagement uh, between some of the most advanced uh, technologies in the world here in, in on Hawaii Island and some of the most beautiful and transformative um, uh, indigenous culture that we also have here in Hawaii. <laughs> Whether in a classroom, 
At the kitchen table. <laughs> or mingling with friends. <laughs> the Hawaiian language is once again being heard here in Hawaii. Aloha mai kako o ka ea ala pa i keia maki a lāpule nei maki aloha ko kako polo kalamu o lelo Hawaii. Ma ane ino, ka homeo nā mele Hawaii, kapa Hawaiian FM. Ma ke kii nui, ma ke make e ulu hoa e ka o lelo Hawaii ma na honua nua hou. A o ka au au e pekema, ke kahi honua nua hou loa no ka o lelo Hawaii. As Hawaii's only bilingual informal science center, Imiloa is a beacon of the continued relevance and capacity of the Hawaiian language, even to the science of astronomy and the names given to celestial bodies. Oyai ikiau kaiko, wakapa inoa ia na ano mea like ole a uapomai kai kako ke au holo oko ike ya mo opa i ho pa ia. Larry Kimura brings a wealth of knowledge to this process of kapa'i noa, or the art of creating Hawaiian names, even to new discoveries like this extraordinary asteroid that otherwise would have simply been known as 1I 2017U1. No, Laila, mahape mai, ike wau ho, pune kahonua. Igi loko o ke au epekema kilo hoku o lilo he mea nui loa. A pela, pela i nono o e wau o ke a ola o ka kako o lelo Hawaii. I nga ale kako e ho maka e nana i ka ho mau ia i waino o nga hanau na hou. Pehea e i ke no ke a muaku. Ke a hana, ka pa i noa. And so the Ahua Hei Noa Initiative was born, bringing together Hawaiian language students with Olalo Hawaii experts and astronomers to learn this art of kapainoa while naming two new discoveries. A ole wau i mana o mua kahiki ke hakui i noa no ke kahi mea makalawa, ole ke kahi mea e lahai ma o na aina e ae. A i hiki ke haku i a ma ka ola loa vai i. Ke kahi au au o i a hana, ke pono e haku i noa, pono pū e ao a maupopo he a i a mea e kapa i ana. Now bring your arms in. Out. What do you guys notice when he brings his arms in? Goes faster, right? And so that's the concept of angular momentum. In Olele Wokono Ia Kekai Mau Kumu, a Mekai Mau Kanaka, or Kekayo, E. Iloa Kaike, Maka Ike Kuuna, by E. Aika Ike Epekamaho, or Kekilo Hoku. Kamaina Bawi Kakako, Poike, Kakako, Poeo Kaina, Makamaka, Nui Kamanao, Ahikiao Keike, Ike Anomalini Loke, Nole La Maikai. After two days of learning and creating, the participants unveiled the two new Inoa Hawaii. Kamo'o Alava refers to the fact that the object is a piece of a larger asteroid that broke off like an offspring or mo'o that will now lava or orbit on its own in our solar system. The second object is orbiting near Ka'avela, or Jupiter, but it's almost mischievously going in the opposite direction of Ka'avela. Given that Epa is a word for mischievous, the asteroid was named Ka'epo Ka'avela. Ano ka poe kilo hoku o ka honua. A ale paha maa i ka noo noo e hana pū me ka poe o iwi i mea e haku ia ina i noa. A ka ina noa ia aina ia mau kaunana ana. He mea nui ka hiki ke ho anu i ke la pili, kahi i loa mai ai ke ia mau mea. No leila, ke ia ano papahana e like me ahua he i noa. He ke e hina hou ke ia e i mea ia ai ke ia awili pū ana o na kuana i ke elu.
There you have it. Mahalo for your, your attention. Um, it's been a wonderful opportunity for me to share a few examples, including the Physics of Poe program, uh, Mount Kea Scholars, and of course, Ohua Heanoa. Uh, I appreciate um, this wonderful opportunity and, and hope that at some point, if there's another conference there, I'm, I'm able to attend in person. So with that, mahalo nui loa, nui loa everybody. That means a uh, big thank you from uh, for everybody there in the audience.